Hi everybody and welcome to Motographer channel. I'm Barry Sia and today I'm going to talk about ring coats and I just found out an alternative way for cheaper ring coats. To find out more, keep watching. Alright, as you can see recently it has been raining, um, the weather has been bad and ring coats has become a usual stuff or everyday things that we, we have to carry around every day we have to carry around when we go out and ride whether it is a slight drizzle you will never know when you go into a mall and yeah and then the, um, you go into a mall you have coffee and you drink you uh, you after you're done with your coffee you go out and then there's a heavy rain pour so Raincoat is important because while riding, you want to be, you want to stay dry and you want to stay warm. My raincoat has been with me for like I think around near to two years. It's quite worn out, so I went to a bike accessory shop and actually looked for another replacement. So I met a friend over there and he was telling me, hey, you know, why not you go for another alternative? Why don't you go for the Decathlon raincoat? Then I was like. What? What, what? what do you mean by that? Then you just say, no, it's just only 10 bucks, $10. So I was like, $10, you know, I am starting to be a bit skeptic on that. So actually I went to the Decathlon website and then searched through and I just searched for hiking raincoat. Uh, then I searched, searched and I found the NH100, which is only $10, Singapore $10. And the rain pants is uh, 13 So it's actually uh, bought separately. Uh, very different from this, from as uh, from the type of ring coats that we usually have. It's actually quite thick. So what I did is that I checked, um, I check it out, and then I got a set for myself, and I actually place it in here. So you can see that they are actually quite close. I place it inside my pouch, but inside my pouch over here, I have my, um, I have a few things that I usually will just grab and go. Uh, my uh, sound tissue, my power bank, um, my charger, okay, for my handphone at times. And over at the back pocket, I actually have my raincoat. So you can see over here the raincoat, okay, it's actually, this is my rain pants and this is the top. And you can see it's actually quite slim compared to this. So you can see the difference right over here. So you can see it's right here and the good thing about these uh, raincoats is that I tried riding them in the storm in a heavy rain and true enough I, I'm really dry. I am, I'm dry and I posted out in my Instagram recently and my friend who actually introduced me this is a great rider so he have to use it every day. The good thing about this is that it's portable okay it's portable it is um, it is affordable and yeah and it's effective but there is a con on this is basically you have to remove your helmet just to wear it that's number one okay and number two you have to uh, it is the thinner material so it is not as thick as the usual raincoat that we have so you can kind of feel the raindrops at times especially when they're very heavy Okay, so I just uh, do a bit of unboxing opening up to share with you how it, how it feels like, how it looks like. Okay, so I just pull my pouch off away. And <clears throat> so over here for the rain pants, I just uh, stretch it out over here. So the rain pants over here, there's zip for you to actually um, uh, strap it down I mean it's easy for you to wear then you just put it down but there's no net it's not netted okay the inside is not netted then followed by let me put these rain pants out of the way followed by the top okay the top is it comes with a pouch I mean it is together it's actually a built-in uh, how to say a pocket yep so I just open it up then look it up here And there you go. Then this is how it's open. And here, right over here. All right. So you can see over here, this is the, the raincoat. It comes with a hoodie. So what I do is that 
I actually use the, the hood, wear, wear the hood over, then wear my helmet on. Then you can see over here, there's a zip for your head to go in, but it's not big enough for a helmet to go in. So that's the downside. You have to actually remove your helmet just to wear it. Anyway, when you wear your raincoat, you are usually in, um, you are usually in a shelter. So yeah, that, that's the only downside, you know, about it. But the good thing about this I like is that over here below, there is no overlapping. So that means that you won't have rain water coming in here, which is usually seeping through uh, the center part where we Velcro our raincoat. So this one don't have. So that's why it actually has better waterproofing in a way. Lah. So uh, the, remember about the pouch? Well, it becomes a pocket over here. Uh, so this rain, uh, rain, rain coat, top rain coat actually has a mini pocket. So you can see over here, I can just zip it. You know, so I can just put my keys here where I have a stop. I just put my bike keys here and then just go there after easily accessible. I don't need to dig uh, inside my rain coat just for, to access my keys. So yeah, this is one of it. So you can see how easy it is and to keep uh, to keep it, I just pull this, I just push out the pocket into, into a pouch and then just turn it here, oops, okay, just turn it out here <coughs> and start folding in. So I just uh, do a bit of quick fold. Huh? Yep. Something like that. Yep. Okay. So I just show it in and I just zip it in. And there we go. Just like this. The unfortunate thing about this set is that it, other than being bought separately, it doesn't come with a pouch. So, you know, you just have to leave with it. Just have to put it like this. Or you can get uh, an, old, uh, an old raincoat pouch and then you just uh, put it in. So I hope that this alternative uh, will actually help you to have more um, options for you to get your raincoat uh, for your needs. So sometimes I will still use my uh, traditional raincoat, but sometimes is that I prefer um, some type of portability and so that I will carry them more often, you know, because when you carry this, you need a big bag for it. So with this, you can shove it into a small sling bag such as this. So I just put it in like this and when I need to go out, I will just bring this along. That's it. With everything inside and I just take and go. I think it's best to get prepared and be prepared all the time. So I hope this video helps and thank you for watching. See you in my next video.